For this quick tip video with placing your Photoshop plan onto your white paper space as your background as seen here, I'm going to show you a quick step to bringing in that PDF drawing so that you may have a second option opposed to bringing it in and then trying to pull and drag it into your white space that is created. First, I will start by opening up my folder where I actually have my PDF saved. I will right click on that folder, go ahead and scroll down to where it says open with, and I will select my Adobe Photoshop. Making sure that the import PDF page is set up, my thumbnail size is large, not messing with any of the defaults, and always keeping my resolution at 300, I would then select OK. After selecting OK, we now have our PDF drawing onto our Photoshop. But noticing at our layers, we do not have our background layer, which is this white layer that we need. So create our own background is what we're going to do next. So what you would need to do is first off, go ahead up to your layers, making sure that layer one is selected. And let's go ahead and just rename the layer one so we'll know what it is. And we'll call it our plan view. After we have labeled this as plan view, to make the background layer, you will go over to the small icon that says filter for small objects as seen shown here. You will left click that icon, go up to where it says fill, for the canvas because we're creating a background canvas and we want to go ahead click on transparent and we want our our fill to be white in doing that you notice that your screen turns white going back down to the same icon where it says filter small objects you can go ahead and left click it to open back up your layers and now you will see that you have a plan view layer and a background layer that is locked. To double check, if I turn off my plan view, I should just have a white paper space. Turning it back on brings back everything. And of course your background layer, when you turn it off, you now have that pixelated transparent background. So let's leave that on. At this time, you can go ahead Click on your plan view and begin to work. The first thing that you will begin to do is taking that rectangular marquee tool and just highlighting the objects and any of the wording that you do not want shown on this paper space. Once everything is removed, you are now ready to begin to render your page. The next step to begin to rendering is to start with our walls. To select our walls, we must be on the plan view. And remember, you're on that plan view when you're selecting anything in the beginning of this space. So I would simply go ahead and select my wand tool. I will click inside one of those walls. And then I will go back up to my marquee tool, click inside of that wall again. There we go. Use my wand tool and then my marquee tool. Go ahead and now right click inside of it with my marquee tool and let's go ahead and create a new layer and let's call this our walls and then select OK. Before I add any color to my walls, I'm, I want to select my other walls as well. So again, I would use my marquee tool oh my magic wand, but I need to make sure that I'm on my plan view. And I'm going to shift hold down and select all of the walls. 
perfect. I'm going to switch back up to that wall layer that I originally created for the top so that everything is on this layer. Using my marquee tool, my rectangular marquee tool, I'm going to right click and I'm going to select the word fill. I'm going to go up to my contents and I'm going to fill this with a color and select OK. Now I also want to make sure that I have my previous set of walls selected. And if they didn't take, it's okay. I'm just going to go back to that plan view. Use my magic wand. I need to come out of that original command. See, if I turn my walls on and off, I want to make sure that I have those on the right layer. They are perfect. So I need to go back and get these walls up top. Switch to my wall layer. Use my marquee tool. Go to fill. My color should already be black, the same as I just did, and select OK. And I'm going to turn my wall eye all off to just make sure that everything is on that layer. Before I move forward, I like to go ahead and begin to add depth to my drawing. So I'm going to go up to my blending options immediately. You can do this now or you can do it later. And I'm going to scroll down to where it says drop shadow. I'm going to click it to open. And I'm going to go ahead and give my walls a little bit of depth to the drawing. And maybe I don't need a ton of shadowing. It's really all about your preference. And you may come back and adjust it again some more later. But just to get started, I went ahead and already provided my walls with some shadowing to give some depth so that they appear raised. Now you can again do this now or later. From here, I'm going to go back to my plan view of my layers and begin to work on my windows. If I scroll into my drawing, I'm on my plan view. I'm going to use my rectangular marquee tool just to create me an outline for my windows. The order in which you want to work your drawing is up to you. I would recommend working your walls, then your windows, and then your furniture. I have that marquee tool drawn. I'm going to right click inside and I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to call this window glass. I'm also going to re-click inside using my right click and I'm going to go to fill because now I'm going to give it some color. Select OK, and now I have my window glass filled. You can either choose to repeat this step or copy and paste this step. Just to show it again, I'm going to repeat it. Remember, I'm tracing from my plan view, so I need to be clicked on my plan view. I'm just using my rectangular marquee tool. and I am outlining my glass of my window. I'm going to right click. I'm going to, oh, before I right click, now that I have this drawn, I want to switch to that glass layer because it's already created. 
I'm going to now right click and I'm going to select fill. The color shall already be on the previous. Perfect. And select OK. And click out anywhere. From here, I will go back to my plan view and I'm going to draw my window edges. Again, you can copy and paste or you can do these all individually. Creating that new layer, I need to right click, go to where it says new layer and call it edges or edge lines. Select OK. Go ahead, right click to fill it with a color. Select my color. And for this particular one, I can choose to edit, copy, edit. and then use my move tool to move it over the one that I just created now you want to make sure that you have the ability to copy and paste or if you need to kind of move this one over we do want to go ahead and select that I want to get back on that edge line and I kind of want to move it over. Oh, I'm on the wrong layer. And again, remember, you want to make sure that you clean up only of your disk space and that you have room in case you get the same icon as, as seen here on the screen. Again, to show you all, Going back to that plan view, using my marquee tool, make sure I'm on it. And it doesn't matter if you start at the bottom or the top, it's just up to you to begin to create again the outline for your edge lines. 